narcissist feels entitled to you. The narcissist doesn't really consider whether you like them or not. Whether or not you are interested in them. It doesn't matter. Because they feel entitled to you. They feel entitled to your time, energy, space, mind, body and soul. They have this arrogance where despite having nothing to offer you, they believe that they are deserving of you. They really believe that they should have you just because they want you. Even if they have spent the last few months or years abusing and manipulating you. They still expect you to find them irresistible as though they are God's gift to you. Deep down they know they do not deserve you. They know that they are not good enough for you. They know that they have nothing to bring to the table. But they are in denial. They have to deny any responsibility or accountability for all of the abuse and manipulation. They have to pretend that they are these amazing, interesting people who have everything to offer you to compensate for their low self-worth, low self-esteem, low self-belief, insecurities and inferiority complex. The narcissist likes to play different roles. In one moment they are the sadistic abuser bringing pain and misery to you. Then in another moment they want to be this charming irresistible character. So they go from abusing and manipulating you, doing everything you don't want and being everything you don't want, to suddenly being this charming irresistible person who is apparently everything you have ever been looking for. Bullshit. The narcissist knows that they can only suck a certain amount of life and energy out of you through the abuse and manipulation. It's going to make you avoid them and want nothing to do with them, making it difficult for them to obtain narcissistic supply. So now they have to switch roles, try to obtain positive supply from you. They try to get a positive reaction by being the charming, irresistible character they believe you desire. But once you begin to show a positive reaction to this character, they have obtained their supply. The illusion falls apart and then they go back to who they really are. The abuse and manipulation starts all over again. This is because they are slaves to their obsession of seeking constant validation and attention. They will throw away love and relationships, even their children if it means that they can obtain a fresh source of validation. Another role they like to play is the hero. I think that most narcissists want to be a hero at, at times as it satisfies their ego. It also provides them with positive attention, validation and approval. They are not heroes really though. They just pretend to be in that moment to obtain narcissistic supply. How can you be a hero when you abuse and manipulate someone every day? You cannot have a narcissist who is also a hero because they do so much damage to, damage to your life. It greatly outweighs anything good that they do. They are destroyers itching to abuse someone or manipulate something at every moment of their lives. The narcissist may feel entitled to you, but it doesn't matter because they do not deserve you. You have value, you have depth, you have self-worth, self-esteem, self-respect and self-belief. You experience genuine love, happiness, empathy and consideration. They do not possess these valuable qualities. So what makes them think that they deserve you? What gives them the sense of entitlement? It's their arrogance and denial. 
They do not deserve you because they never began to work on themselves. They don't self-reflect or look within. They don't take responsibility or accountability for their abuse or manipulation. They never even began to work on healing their childhood traumas. They never even acknowledged them. Instead, they pretend as though they are fine and don't need to work on anything. And maybe that's why they feel so entitled to you. They believe that they are already complete. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth and it's clearly obvious by their behaviours. Emotionally healthy people do not do what they do. They do not abuse or manipulate. They do not project their insecurities onto you. They do not need to create illusions. But narcissists do all of that. Yet they have this delusional belief that they are entitled to you and deserve you. While they have such low self-esteem, low self-worth, low self-belief, they are insecure and have an inferiority complex. They do not respect you or your boundaries. And while I can respect someone who is working on these issues, the narcissist has never even begun to work on any of that. They pretend as though they have no issues. They are in denial, which is why they feel so entitled to you. They have to exaggerate their worth and self-importance to compensate for how small, boring and lifeless they really are. They see you and want to be like you, so much that it becomes an endless competition. They create illusions and play different roles because they don't want you to see them for what they really are. They don't want you to have a mind of your own because they see you as an extension of them. They expect you to think exactly the way that they think. They expect you to believe what they believe and see everything the way that they do. If you do not, they will gaslight you until you do so that, so that they can regain control of, over your mind. They will under exaggerate if you have done something good or if they have done something bad. They will over exaggerate if you have done something wrong or if they have done something right. They make you believe that you do not deserve them. The truth is, you do not deserve them because you deserve better. And this is why they never fully give themselves to you because they know you will be disappointed. They know that they do not meet your standards. So if they fully gave themselves to you, you would realize that straight away. You would know that you deserve so much better and they don't want you to realize this. So they hold back. They also like to have control at all times. If they give themselves to you, they believe that they are losing control. So yes, the narcissist feels entitled to you. Their arrogance and denial makes them believe that they do deserve you. And this could trick you into believing that they are on the same frequency as you. But they're not. Remember, they haven't even begun to work on healing their childhood traumas. They have low self-worth, low self-esteem, and low self-belief. They are insecure and have an inferiority complex. They do not respect you or your boundaries. This is how you know that they are not on, the, on your frequency. They are not of like kind. So leave them to think they are entitled to you. Move on with your life and find someone who is, who is on your frequency. Someone who does practice self-love.